Hello and welcome to Taser Travel. Today we're going to talk about driving in Aruba. I'm Jeremy. And I'm Melissa. And today we're going to talk about our adventures driving in Aruba. Anytime we go to a Caribbean island, we usually try and rent a car. So we rented a car here and that was kind of an adventure in itself. We won't go into too much details. But the cars they usually give you aren't, they aren't in the best of shape, <laughs> to say the least. So it had scratches and dings and bangs and bumps and it, they're just, cars you usually get in Aruba or most Caribbean islands um, aren't usually in the best of shape. Because they're old. They usually keep them for as long as they possibly can instead of here in the United States where it's just a couple of years and then they're turning them back in or selling them. So, um, but driving in Aruba, what did you think? We've driven in Aruba three times now. Um, we're kind of used to it, so. Yeah. It's not difficult. Um, drive first... on, you drive on the right-hand side of the road. Mm -hmm. Your steering wheel is on the left-hand side, so it's just like driving in the United States. Yeah. Right? The stoplights, they have, kind of have a couple major intersections mm -hmm. where you stop at a stoplight and then you might have green, but then when you get into the kind of like in the median area, you have to stop again. So yeah. um, it's just, just a little bit different. They have a number of roundabouts. There's one, only one roundabout that was really big like in Barbados, and that's kind of right by the airport. They had this really big roundabout. The driving, very simple. It's just a lot of the roads are paved, but there's also quite a number of basically, which would be dirt or sand roads, maybe some gravel on them. The one thing that's kind of difficult is a lot of the roads don't have names. So, and if they do have a name, if there's not a sign posted like we're used to in the United States. So I would definitely invest in a good map um, mm -hmm. We try to always order a map on Amazon um, or a bookstore, but usually Amazon's where we get our maps from. And actually the car rental agency actually mm -hmm. gave us a pretty good map too. Yeah. So I actually found myself using that some, and then also the map we had bought off of Amazon. So The one thing you have to watch for when you're driving in Aruba is the occasional donkey that's just walking across the road. Or goat. Or goat. Yeah, donkey or goat. Stray yeah. dogs. So driving in Aruba, I would definitely suggest it because there's nothing like exploring on your own. You can go to any of the beaches that you want to go to? Any of the beaches. I mean, very economical. It's one of the best ways if you're only in Aruba for a day, maybe you're on a ship and they've stopped there for a day, rent a car. If you're going to go for a week, we talked to so many people who go to a hotel on a Caribbean island and they get transportation from the airport to the resort and they don't leave mm -hmm. until they come home. You're not experiencing yeah, you don't get that to see the island sites and stuff. Yeah, yeah. The, and the island isn't very big, so it means yeah, it's as, like twelve as, miles as, long. As much as you may, may need a map, you really necessarily don't even need a map because as soon as you, as long as you can find the main road, mm -hmm. you can pretty easily find your way back to <clears throat> back to your hotel. It's not that big of an island. It's yeah. pretty hard to get lost because you kind of if as long as you keep driving in the direction that you think is kind of would be west, you're going to be essentially running into the main road, which you can basically just take that straight up to your hotel. I would suggest driving during the daylight, um, especially your first few days, because driving at night, they don't have street lights like we have here. You may see the occasional street lamp, but it's pretty dark. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, and also be sure to subscribe, and if you want to make sure you see all of our future videos, click that little notification bell down below and you will be notified every time we post a new video. If you'd like to find us on Facebook, we are located under Taser Travel. We try to give weekly tips on travel advice. Um, you can contact us, ask us questions. If there's anything that you're interested in doing, maybe you haven't been on a cruise or you haven't been to Aruba. If we've been there, we can definitely give you information. Oh, certainly. As always, make your dreams reality. Memories last a lifetime. Take care. See you later.